this time they've made the news themselves. So I don't want to like open up their secrets and get into blah, 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 blah. No, because people can change. But that's a, now it's a, now it's a criminal fact. Wallahi, I remember when my wife first showed me this couple. I looked at them and I said, this is fake. Allah can elevate any of you guys out there. Don't lose hope. If you're in a bad situation right now, Allah can change it. That we shouldn't be putting our trust in people like this. Honestly, that was a big ass wake up call. But then they're getting done for stealing two water. Who the hell are these people, bro? They were like freaking the Muslim Bonnie and Clyde. Way of life as Q, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum and we are back with another video. Um, I'm getting ready to go shoot a video. It's a Saturday morning right now. Uh, not even morning, it's like 11. Approaching noon, though her time. Um, I'm about to go shoot a video very, very soon, inshallah, with the youth, the shabab. I think that's my favorite part about these videos. You know, like you might enjoy watching it. And tomorrow, by the way, uh, the video would have come out. Uh, well, well, this video, inshallah, is going to be released on Monday. Uh, so the video for the... Quizzing strangers about an iPad should be up by now. I hope you guys enjoy that one as well. But it's a lot of fun to make it, you know. So if you're watching it and having fun, it's because it was a lot of fun to make it as well. So I hope you're enjoying some of these videos. And uh, I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all watching and stuff like that. So why am I making this video exactly? Um, I got word yesterday by, I got a tip by a very, very good source. I'm not going to say the source's name. Um, about an old friend of ours. And if you don't know this old friend... Originally, I was going to point, oh, there's a drone over there. Cool. Um, originally, you know, I was going <laughs> to, originally, I, <laughs> sorry, I can't just talk about the drone. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, originally, uh, I was going to make this video and I, and I was going to talk about this character. And, and if you guys know who these characters are, you could, if you don't know, you could, you could click this video and find out over here. Or, or don't, right? Because they're not important. And, and, it's, and this is not important. You understand? Like, there's real important things happening in the world. But I remember when I first made the video about this, um, I, I just made it to just, you know, to talk about it. You know, to talk about the situation. Uh, because it had just happened. And at that time, I would say that I would really jump on situations quick because you see in the muslim game youtube space it was like the first the, the first the first responder who responds to it first who who puts out the fire first who tells the people about the fire first and um i found myself going down that path and i think that now it's sort of switched around where i see the fire i observe the fire i look around it i look around it I share my thoughts with it, uh, with you guys, and then I release the video whenever I'm ready to put the fire out or even if the fire is put out or whatever, but I release it on my own artistic creativity. I'm not, I, I, like, I think, I think my worst moments came when I was, when I was being quick on something, right? Because that wasn't me. Um, I hope that this is me. I, I, I pray that I'm a better person now than I was when I made this video because I've grown since then. You know, and I've made many mistakes since then. And, and I've become a better person since then, I believe. So I, I, I think, inshallah. Um, but those, that video made me ride this wave in where I just got discovered. And I always regretted that video, not because I didn't share the information. And, and the information, if you watch that video, I didn't say anything disrespectful. And I think that that's what people appreciated about my take uh, on this whole topic. You know, I didn't like flame the fire and, you know, I fan the fire. I didn't do any of that. Like, you know, my, my take was different. And people appreciate that. And they suck my other videos. And they're like, oh, oh, this guy does this and da, 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 da. And it, it all started going from there. But I didn't like my discovery in this way because I didn't want to be some tabloid writer. Uh, uh, the gossip channel. The tea. Let's spill the tea. I didn't want this channel to be that. I, I want this channel to be something where I just share my thoughts with you and I help you get closer to Allah as I bring you value and I, I try to get closer to Allah as well. And we're on a journey together. I'm in my robe, by the way. If you haven't tell, the snow has all become ice. It's below freezing right now. I think another minus four Celsius, 28 degree Fahrenheit weather right now. I had to wear my heavier jacket. Excited for this video tonight, guys. We're going to go in front of Rockefeller Center. You know what Rockefeller Center is? Boom! Like where Home Alone was filmed. Boom! Home, uh, Rockefeller Center, huge Christmas tree. And we're going to be quizzing. Oh, we're going to be quizzing strangers about Christmas for a Nintendo Switch. 
and there's a line in front of the Nintendo store. We're just going to go down there and just like, mm, quiz them about it, educate them about, you know, Christmas. It's going to be a good video, inshallah. And I'm going to release it on Christmas Day, inshallah. Oh, that's cute. You acknowledge Christmas, brother. Uh, 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 Self-destruct. You sound like a robot. All right? Just relax yourself. Uh, but, uh, 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 you're searching your files for... Just relax yourself. All right? Relax yourself. Just chill out. You know what I mean? I've chilled out a lot since that video was made. I've become a better person. I hope so. So, um, I find out that they made the this time they've made the news themselves they've made the they've made the newspaper bro and subhanallah the way they describe this hasanat character because he is a microcosm of someone who has lost their faith but are doing something for the khaba He's a microcosm for that type of person. And there are not many out there, but there are some. There are some people who have lost their faith, but they're doing nothing about it to restore it. So they just go down this negative trajectory. Do you, did you know that Hasanath was having problems? And this is where my internal sources came from. <laughs> See, the Hasanath that you guys know is this. Oh my God. This is so crazy. But I want to talk about the Hasanath that's this. Because I, I actually am good friends with one of his closest friends at that time with a masjid that was located in a place that I'm not going to disclose, okay? This dude was already having trouble with certain elements of the sunnah, certain elements of Islam. Why? Typical case. You became religious all of a sudden and you dove, you dove deep. Boom. No floaties, no nothing. You just dove deep. More, 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 more. The outer appearance started looking like the sunnah, mashallah. Mm. But inside, there was still a lot of jahiliyyah that hasn't been dealt with. You haven't fully submitted. Even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, says in the Quran, what? Don't say that you know, you've, uh, um, uh, you, you've believed. Say that you've submitted. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me in the comment section below, those people out there. You know what I mean? Say that you've submitted. But you know what? We go down this rabbit hole. We're excited. I, I get it. We're excited. But we go down this rabbit hole. Da, da, da. Oh, more, 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 more. Consuming like entertainment. Da, 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 da. More, 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 more videos. What happens next? But there's some problematic issues. I can't remember what his was. I could find out maybe, but I can't. I don't. Who cares? I don't want to know about that. But the point is this, right? For you guys out there, you guys, and that video lacked guidance for you watching. That video, I didn't. I don't like that video. I don't even want to watch it. But I'll probably play some Mohammed Hijab meme. You're a munafiq. A'udhu billah man. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. Wallahi, you're finished. You're a munafiq. And you're a fraudster. Boy. 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 You cannot escape anymore. You're finished. A'udhu billah. It's because I originated the Mohammed Hijab means Say word. Say word. I'm not going to go down there. I love Smile to Jannah. And, but, but let's just... I, I originated them. I want the credit for that. I want that to be on my IMDb Wikipedia page. Uh, but it's good. It was good for the culture though, right? But I think Smile and Jenna used it better than I did eventually. But I pioneered it. Let's go. But um, yeah, there was no message for you guys out there. You know what I mean? Yes? Mommy's here. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, baby, stay inside though, okay? Thank you, baby. Oh, may Allah bless my children. May Allah bless your children as well. Anyways, that's for you guys out there who have just started Islam. Take it easy. Learn about the 99 names of Allah. Just go through them each day. Learn, you know, mention Allah's name in a new way. Should we start doing that? What if we started doing that? Huh? Me, me and you. Me and you out there. What if we started doing a little challenge and in each video there'd be a new name of Allah that we learn together, we apply together, and we make dua. What do you guys think about that, right? Tell me in the comment section below. But that's just to include in engagement because I'm probably going to do this anyway. I, I like that idea, you know, because I want to give you guys more value, you know. But he went in too deep and then he just had this and then he became a personality and a persona for the internet. And wallahi, I remember when my wife first showed me this couple. I looked at them and I said, this is fake. It was staged. Everything about it felt staged. And when it all came to crumble, I'm like, Wallahi, I said this. I called it though. It was staged. The whole thing was staged. <sighs> but her niqab was staged? Uh, that's scary. I didn't think of it like that. 
his iman was staged. I didn't think of it like that. But then they're getting done for stealing true water. Who the hell are these people, bro? They were like freaking the Muslim Bonnie and Clyde. God, that's what they are. They're the Muslim Bonnie and Clyde. Stole the Muslim Bonnie and Clyde stole two hundred thousand pounds. I think I think they were able to recover it. Check out this article. Go read it for yourself. It was pretty good. Link is in the description for the article. Go check it out. But they made the news, news, bro. Like like not just like Muslim news, like the news. You know what I mean? So ugh. It's, it's nasty. And they label him as what? A terrorist. Because this no-knowledge person, this no-knowledge banda gets recruited in these chat rooms. Oh, these chat rooms. And they know. They see a sucker. They know a sucker when they see one. It's like a sucker straight away. You can tell oh, this, this dude is a sucker. You can tell this dude is a sucker when you saw him. No knowledge, nothing. And then guess what? Poor kid. And I, I haven't finished editing the video yet. Or, or I don't even remember what I say after this, but I just wanted to pause this part right now uh, and let you know that, like, government agencies focus on targeting impressionable people. And Hassanath was no different. Um, he could have potentially also had a ton of mental illness. Um, this is from very close sources. Um, and even now, when you look at his videos, he don't look right. I don't know. Like, he's not all there. Like, if you look into his eyes, he's not all there. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he's on the spectrum. I wouldn't be surprised if there is something. And this is not a way out. I'm not, you know, trying to understand what I mean by this. This is just letting you know um, that these agencies and everything, they, they see a person. So, yeah, I called him a sucker, right, because of how he is and how he acts. And it was like as if he was running or however he was behaving. Like, it's disgusting, right? May Allah protect us from that behavior. And that's like a difference in Iman. Like, that's something else, you understand? But the fact that he went down the line of, like, ISIS and all that garbage, you know, like, that just shows that, like, there was some, there's something wrong with him, too. I hope that makes sense. And that also played a role in what he was doing with the women. And I don't know. But all right, this is it. This video is long enough. Just keep watching. Poor kid. And, and this happens to poor people all the time. May Allah protect us from like these people and these things. These are traps. You know, but they're impressionable people. But this dude was on some next level stuff. Then this, but this, I, then we started hearing more negative things about this. Like this, we were like, who the hell are these people? Like I knew that this whole couples thing was fake and staged. Like I knew that, right? About like, doing cute stuff for the camera okay right but yo she's a non niqabi she'd be going to the club this man lost his body he's not even a muslim anymore they stole the money we're like who the hell are these people and then they try to get another one grooming a girl sara sister sara or whatever then she comes out with that fake apology <laughs> genuinely wanted to help people <laughs> brothers i didn't know and this and that and i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm wrong for saying that i want to be, be clear and this is bringing up a lot of emotions from like a year and a half or two years ago, whenever this garbage happened, right? Because it was, but but it, but he did teach us something good, and that is when we give to an organization, that's your amana. You have the right to ask questions about it. So when I'm giving to and asking you guys to donate to the uh, Quran, uh, they, go to the launch good. Look at it. Look at the details. Is it registered under my name? Who is it? Who is this LLC? Who is this Al Furqan LLC? Let's go research about them. Do your research. You should. You have the right. You have the right to ask me questions about it. But don't assume, don't, don't let the negativity of what they did make you take the image of Islam. And uh, there's, They were sickos, bro. They were sickos. Th those dudes were just sickos, like sociopaths. Like, honestly, when, when Hassanat speaks now, you can tell this dude isn't there. Like, he isn't all there. People who knew him felt that way from the, from, from the go, that he isn't all there. Guess what? Gets recruited on one of these ISIS chat lines, and they find uh, Al-Qaeda magazines on him. Oh, astaghfirullah. May Allah protect us, man, but there's impressionable people out there. This dude, is maybe, maybe he's autistic or something. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? But these dudes was just something else. But, but don't lose trust in the system because of this, Okay. Don't lose trust. And Muslim organizations out there, make sure that you're honest. There's some organizations that I stopped working with because I got, I got word, I caught word of they're like this. And more than anything, it's not that I, I don't want people to think that because they're like this, SQ's like this, uh, SQ's working with them, therefore he's like this too. No, I don't want that. Not, not because I care about my brand. It's because it's your money. When you give me the money, bro, it's, it's, it's not money. It's, money, it's real money. 
I'm supposed to take care of it. Did I get a text message? Got an email. It's not important. Let's get it. I'm working on the children's channel too. Don't worry. I'm working on it. Guys, there's a lot going on. I'm moving right now. I'm in the process of moving. We just, alhamdulillah, bought the house. It's a new change for us all. You know, I went from being homeless to a homeowner. Who knew? Allah can elevate any of you guys out there. Don't lose hope. If you're in a bad situation right now, Allah can change it. Wallahi, you're in a better condition than I am. I ever was. You know why? Because at least you're listening to the message of Islam. I wasn't having nothing to do with it. If I saw that you were a Muslim, I would cross the street. I wanted nothing to do with you out there. So the fact that you were listening to, to this or anything else Islamic or a dude like me just shows that, yo, I feel like, a, like my audience is a niche-driven audience. You know, I'm not everyone's, you know, people are just like, I ask you, should I have a million subscribers? Really? I don't know. Maybe I might have like a, like in a halal way, a cult following, you know? I consider myself, if we're comparing ourselves to like rappers, I consider myself like the Muslim J. Cole. That's who I consider myself to be. Just completely offbeat, does his own thing, and, and he's just successful doing his own thing. You know what I mean? That's how I, I consider myself, but I'm not comparing myself to him. But J. Cole's a good brother too. I want to make a video about him. Did you know that he quit drinking? Did, like, yo, this dude is awesome. I love J. Cole anyways, but... Just keeping that in mind. Muslim J. Cole. All right. I got I to gotta get ready, you know, trim my mustache and stuff, so I don't want to spend too much time on this. Got the miswak stick on deck. Not because this is the, the kawa. Like, this is really my miswak stick. You understand? But I know the power I have, my influence that I have, that I can, I can make this look cooler. I can make it look cool, even though it's cool already because it's a sunnah. I can make that dopey look cool. I can make a beard look cool. I could... I know the influences out there, but people like the, the Hasanat characters, wallahi, people aren't like that. And look, you might, Allahu Alam with what's my end. Maybe Allah might test me and expose me and something might come out about me and you might see something negative about me. And, I, and the only reason, my biggest fear with that is would be this, is that look, I'll own whatever mistake I made, but I don't want you to lose hope in Islam. Don't lose hope in Islam. I'm not Islam. You understand me? I'm SQ. I'm not Islam. I, I would like to be an ambassador of it. Like I would like to go out and be a representative of it. But between you and I, I'm a sinner. Between you and I. Just, just between you and I. So don't, don't ever lose hope. Don't put your trust in people like us. Don't. Don't put your trust in us. Because we're, we're humans. We're, we're weak individuals, creatures. Wallahi, if you... If you got a whiff of my sins, you wouldn't even stand near me. Wallahi, you wouldn't. You would avoid me. You'd cross the street if you saw me and be like, oh, that dude. If you could smell my sins, it'd stink up the room, bro. Stink up the world. I'm a disgusting person, guys. But I'm trying to get better. And that's, that's the thing. When you're trying to get better, there's a fight between good and evil within you. And the Iman... The more you lean in on that and read more Quran and do more fasting and adhkar and include sunnahs in your life, the stronger you build this muscle of yours. But a lot of times people just want to look the part and just pump these you know, big weights and everything but have no real core or muscle. I don't have any of those things. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm the last person that should be talking to you about fitness. I mean, but I do have to go inside. The point is this. They taught us a valuable lesson that we shouldn't be putting our trust in people like this. Honestly, that was a big-ass wake-up call. The next thing is, you know, when in people who are in charge of influencers or whoever, like, of collecting money, we need to do a better job of knowing what the money is going. And you guys need to do ask us more questions and hold us accountable. You know what I mean? What, how many times we've collected money for projects, right? Okay, SQ, did you show me an update of that project? Nothing. Where did that money go, SQ? Now, even if I, I know I look I end up looking like a liar. You understand? I end up looking like a liar. You know what I mean? And that shit that shit ain't cool. You know what I mean? And that's one of the reasons I stopped working with organizations. Because when I work with an organization, the money is going. I said, okay, bet, show me the updates. When they are unable to provide, cancel everything. Let's stop everything right now. Now, that doesn't mean they're not doing it. You, you have to understand what I mean by this, right? But I play with strict rules. 
try, try to understand what I mean by this. That doesn't mean that they're not doing it, right? It's just that when answers are muddied and you can't give me a straight answer to what's being used for this, what's being used for that, there's a problem. And it's, it's a systematic problem where a lot of people get involved with, I don't know, their fan, finance guys are good. I don't know if it's the love of the dunya. Bro, 200,000 pounds entering your account. You don't know what that feels like. You don't know how that could change or corrupt the person's intentions. I'm not saying that they, they initially wanted to steal the money. I'm not suggesting that at all. And we shouldn't assume that about them. But wallahi, Allah checks our niya when the bank money accounts, all that sort of stuff. I remember I had to, I think and I said that in that video too, about when I had to go to Ghana, bro. I went to Ghana. This is the first time I've ever done any type of fundraising, whatever, uh, especially like on my own. And we were able to raise about $10,000. Alhamdulillah. Wow. In like two weeks before my trip to Ghana. I was so worried, so worried that I wouldn't be able to raise the money. So worried. Now about Quran projects, this and that, I don't even care. I'll put the link. Donate if you want to. And if not, don't because Allah's taking care of it. Allah's taking care of it. And, and we have to be clear and all that sort of stuff. But anyways, I don't want to go down that path. The point is this. You know, that money came into my account, the 10000 And it just made my account look better. And I obviously didn't think of keeping it and all that. But I put myself in people's shoes. Like, yo, this could matter. Because it's not just Muslims who do this. You know what I mean? Don't ever think that way. It's non-Muslims. A lot of non-Muslims. Uh, people who do, there's so many scandals of pastors and da, 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 who, who get, who take the charity money and all that. We know the stories. As Muslims, we shouldn't be doing things like that. But you also have to understand that the organizations running things do have expenses too. You got to find the organizations that have the lowest overheads, lowest overheads, so that the money is going to the foundations of need the most. But understand that Every bit of money that you give has to go to the organization as well because they don't get paid in any other way but through that money. You have to understand, that's how masjids are built. Everything, right? When you're giving to the masjid, you're paying for the, the electricity bill, the oil bill, and all that sort of stuff as well. You have to understand. And that's not because, oh, now masjids are businesses and all that. I'm sure some people with uh, bad leadership have made it into a business, but that's not what it's supposed to be. But guess what? Our imams deserve to be paid well. No? Do they not do they not deserve to be paid well? Do they they don't they do. They do have the right to be paid well. That's probably gonna be a thumbnail. I have to think of a thumbnail. That's one of my title and thumbnail I like thinking about titles, but thumbnails I'm enjoying it, but it's always troublesome. I need to think of a I don't know, it's gonna be the, the Muslim Bonnie and Clyde, that's what I'm gonna call it. It's told two hundred thousand the Muslim Bonnie and Clyde stole 200,000 pounds. I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be. Anyways, I digress. I'm going to end this real soon, though. I, I keep saying that. I keep, you ask you, you keep saying that. I hope you've read the timestamps. I see ya. Yeah, I mean, we eat them does the Easter eggs. Yeah, I love them timestamps. I love making them. They're fun. They're fun. I'll be thinking about them. But, uh, but yeah, I love you guys. I love you guys. And um, to... Hassanat probably he's probably gonna watch this because um, he just needs to watch it. It's about him. He's gonna want to watch it, right? Um, may Allah guide them. May, sincerely, may Allah nourish their heart because I don't know what kind of growth they've made since then until now. So I don't want to like open up their secrets again. Blah 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 blah. No, because people can change. But that's a now it's a now it's a criminal fact, right? Like now it's not like tabloid. It's like official official, right? So I'm not saying anything that's not available to public knowledge at this point. Um, but if they have changed, just know that I'm sorry that you have to go through this again. And um, if you genuinely have changed since then, and I'm really sorry that you have to go through this again. And I pray that you have made that tawbah and turn your lives around, you know. And by the way, I'm sorry for calling Sister Sada's tears fake and all that sort of uh, at that time. Nobody knows that for the past year or so I've been suffering from depression. That's how I felt because her body language and that's the thing with me, right? Like I, I'm really, really keen on picking up the body language of all that just felt kind of staged. It was just like, let me get my garden like, you know, sida, you know? So I get it, you know, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, man, it all, and you know how it all came to a crumble?
Let me tell you how it all came to a crumble. How all this got exposed. It came to a crumble. All from Hassanat. Proudly, or his wife, Umm Abdullah, proudly posting that her, she now has a co-wife, which is Sister Sarah. That shit not only blew up the Muslim internet, right? It caused people to be like, you know what? Bus, bus ho gaya, bus ho gaya. Inka natak khatam. Yaha pe khatam hota inka natak. And then they started exposing. Oh, but this, she's not even an Akabi. Blah, 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 blah. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Da, 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 da. Yo, what it must have been like to be them at that point? Allah, Allah, I don't want to know. Allahu Akbar, may Allah protect us. That, that level of scrutiny, like, ugh. Like, ugh. No way, bro. No way. But, like I said in the uh, beginning of the video, I'm not here to be like, ah, I need to be first come, uh, first come, uh, get, get, get on the topics. Oh, oh, uh, no, post, no I'm, I'm posting this on a Monday now, inshallah. By this point, you know, Brother Ali would have probably made a video about this already. Some other YouTubers probably made a video about this already. Maybe, maybe not. And now I'm making a video about it, but I'm recording it. I found out on a Jumwa. I'm recording it on a Saturday just so my, my thoughts are fresh, you know. Um, and now I'm releasing it on Monday. Yeah, um, yeah. so you would have seen the iPad video. I hope you enjoyed it. Get ready for the special video, which is happening on December 25th, which is Christmas Day. Enjoy that one. That was going to be a good one, inshallah. Make dua for me. Uh, support via Patreon if you can. I'm trying to take the Shabab for a lifetime experience. Take them to Canada, Toronto, Canada, downtown Toronto, Canada, and give out Qurans over there. Do these experiments over there and educate the Canadian people. They're our neighbors, you know. They're good people over there. I hear they're really, really friendly too. I think it'll be a lot, a lot of fun. And it'll give the youth, wallahi, it'll give them hope that, yo, you can be straight up a Muslim. And just run stuff, you know what I mean? Like just, just do stuff, accomplish things, and go to Canada. And look how Allah's taking them, 16-year-old boys. You know, imagine where this could shoot them in the trajectory of Allahi. It could change lives. It could change lives. And then eventually when Umar opens up, why not take them over there too? Why not take them over there too? Why not help them towards their faith? Why not help them? Why not help each other? Why not help you? Why not help Umm Abdullah? Why not help Hassanat if they want to get help? If they want to get help, you know what I mean? Why not help each other? Why not, why not figure it out? Why not, why not ache when they're aching? Why not? You know? Because it's easier to uh, you know, not empathize with someone than to put yourself in that position. You know, sure, greed, the dunya, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and there's some sickness within them at that time. Just the fakeness that they were running. Ugh. Like, I know, like, social media is fake. But, like, yo, that was next level fake. Like, that's, that was some, like, ugh, like, ugly, ugly fake, you know? But I pride, I pride myself on being real. But let me just tell you this. As real as I am, there's certain sins that Allah has even hidden from you. You understand? And we should never go after people's sins. And I feel like, I, I, and I seek the forgiveness of Allah if I felt my last video, my original video, went after their sins. Because that wasn't my intention. Really, it, it, it just wasn't my intention. So... So may Allah guide us, may Allah protect us, may Allah protect them, may Allah hide all of our secrets in this dunya and on the day of judgment. And when we die, when we're dead, imagine something coming up about you. May Allah protect us. May Allah protect us. People should have good memories about you. Not some newly distort. May Allah protect us. May Allah guide us. May Allah have mercy on us. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Thank you so much for watching uh, this far in the video. I usually offer an Amazon gift card at this point right now. Um, first three people who who email me will get an Amazon gift card inshallah um, yeah first three people who email me will get an Amazon gift card inshallah thank you so much for watching this far into the video just want to give a reward to whoever watches this far uh, I really love you I really appreciate you all uh, and I thank you for everything that you bring to me and I pray that I'm able to bring you guys value I pray that uh, my content is not based upon tabloids and ugh, all that stuff. And just actually giving value in the coolest, funnest way possible. The way that I know how to do it. The way that's me. The way that it's unique. The way that it's honest and earnest and has integrity. That's why I stopped putting cuts in my videos. I needed y'all to see what I go through when I make this video. Or it could all be an act. It could be, right? You got to... Okay, my children are crying. I got to get out of here, guys. All right. Love you all for the sake of a light. Until next time, I'm out. Okay, I'm about to fall.